The five shapes of the major scale. You will find people talk about seven shapes or other shapes. So in this video, I'll talk about the five shapes I think makes the most sense to learn first. My name is Simon and I'm a guitarist, music producer and graphic designer from Norway. I'm here to share everything I've learned so far in my journey and document what I learned in real time. Okay, so a quick note before we start the video and before I stop drinking my iced coffee, that is that learning shapes and being musical, that's two different things. So in this video, we're talking about the shapes. It's important to look at what we play before we look at how we can play. So let's start with shape number one. We'll be in a key of C major, so the root note will be C. So let's find a root note on the lowest string. That's 8th fret of the low E string. Okay, so this is where our first shape starts. I'm going to play it slow so you can play along. Okay, so that was the first shape, and what took me way too long to realize is that the major scale is actually the exact same as the pentatonic scale, with just two more notes. So let's have a look at the pentatonic version of this position, or this shape. So you have probably seen this shape before, the first position of the minor pentatonic scale. And if you go to the second position, of the minor pentatonic scale. Then we have what, what we call the major pentatonic. So the minor pentatonic and major pentatonic, that's the exact same scale, you just start on different notes, basically. So the second shape of the minor pentatonic, or the first shape of the major pentatonic, if you want, looks like this. As you can see, it's very similar to the major scale. We just add two notes, and that's the fourth and the sixth. Then suddenly we get the major scale. So if you already know the pentatonic scale, then this is a very good way to actually learn the major scale as well. If this just confuses you, then don't worry too much about it. But for me, it was very useful to see that the major scale and the pentatonic scale is basically the same scale, just two notes difference. But if it doesn't confuse you, I'm still going to refer to it in this video, so you can easily see how it relates to the pentatonic scale. I'm going to refer to it as the minor pentatonic instead of the major pentatonic. That's because more people are used to the minor pentatonic. Okay, so to conclude shape number one, it's the same as the minor pentatonic position two, but with two more notes. So here again is position one of the major scale. <laughs> Next, let's take a little sip and then go to shape number two. Okay, so this is shape number two, slowly. We start on the 10th fret.
Okay, so that's shape number two. And in relation to the minor pentatonic, it's the same as shape number three. So this is shape number three of the minor pentatonic. Shape three of the A minor pentatonic, which again is the same as C major pentatonic. And here again, a bit faster, shape two in the major scale. After two comes three, so let's go to shape number three. Oop. <laughs> that starts on a 12th fret. So let's play that slowly. And here is the pentatonic version of that scale. So again, it's the same as a major scale, but with two less notes. So let's do the major scale again, a bit faster. Let's go to shape number four. We're going to start on the third fret of the low E string. Slow. And here is the minor pentatonic version of that shape. Okay, let's do shape number four once again in a major scale. A bit faster. By the way, if you want to really master the major scale, you should go to playwithaplan.com. There you can get exercises and interactive tabs for this video, as well as the whole course on the major scale. You'll also get access to all my other courses, like Master a Pentatonic Scale, how to create amazing guitar videos, interactive tabs for all my songs, and more. So go to playwithaplan.com. I'll leave the link in the description. Then we have shape number five. And this starts from the fifth fret of the low E string. 
So let's play it slowly. And here is the pentatonic version of that shape, which is the minor pentatonic shape you probably are used to, or at least the most common one. And again, let's play shape 5 of the major scale a little bit faster. That is the five most important shapes for the major scale. And that is what I recommend people start with. And once you get comfortable, you can actually take this one step further with something called anchoring. And this is a way to get more control over the fretboard and the scale. It's a total game changer, and I'm going to cover that in the next video.